Alright, welcome to Slasher's first try at Skullgirl Corner. In this, I am going to try and talk about maybe random things while we play Skullgirls, probably one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Uh, with me today is uh, the first showing of one of my quote-unquote friends, uh, Ero Sanin, which I will call Ero. Introduce yourself, Ero. Uh, what's up? Ero Sanin. Uh, kind of new to Skullgirls myself here, though Slasher over here has an extremely a lot more practice than I do, which Ooh. shows for it in the end. All right. For, for those who don't know too much about Skullgirls, I'll give the basics. Skullgirls is a 2D fighting game developed by the formerly Reverge Labs, currently Lab Zero Games, published by Autumn Games and Konami. Actually, kind of interesting that Konami even actually le released it. Um, I remember in 2011 that they had a uh, kind of a teaser trailer mm -hmm. uh, at AX, and even in 2010 they had one. Uh, like two characters. That's all they had. And in eleven, they brought out like another character, but they were more developing it. And in in April twenty twelve is when it came out. Um, the ninth, I believe it was. Yeah. Uh, and there's actually a Windows version on the way. Uh, in July of this year. Really? You know what? Yeah. They're even working on a Linux port to it. Oh God, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Um, my personal view on Skullgirls as a whole is. Very positive. Yeah. I think in terms of a lot of fighting games, some are too slow, some are too fast. Although, personally, I like the faster versions of 2D fighters. Um, like, mm, what is that one? Uh, Darkstalkers? Darkstalkers. I really yeah. do like dar Darkstalkers. It's very fast form of fighting, and it's health bar that doesn't that never refills. I prefer that classic Street Fighter feel. I'd yeah. Well, stuck with it a long time. It's just um, you might want to just project a little bit more towards. Yeah, this. no problem. All right. Um. Now, yeah. Well, I I, do, I always found that that those kind of games were always one hit combos, and anything more than that required a lot and a lot of experience and practice. And that annoyed me. Skullgirls, you can pick it up and you can get at least three, four, five hit combos fairly easily, depending upon the character. And even hitting characters off the ground is something that's easy for, uh, relatively easy for some characters. In almost every battle, you practically do is like an achievement in itself. Yeah. And when it's you like do get that feeling, when you do get higher combos, it feels like you've achieved something by learning combos. Yeah. Um, Still learning that, by the way. Yeah. Well, Jerk. that's three minutes, and I can and past uh, talking about the game, well, how I feel about the game itself. I felt like I was going, I wasn't going to be able to go much beyond that. So I actually wanted to talk about the voice acting oh. of the characters in this That's game. Not much really done. Um, Philia is voiced by uh, Christine Mary Ken Ken Cavanas, and apparently she voices, she's voiced in Squid Girl as Squid Girl herself. Wait, what? Yeah. No. Yeah, that that the English voice cast for for Squid, Squid Girl. Girl. Yeah, that's that's uh Philia. And okay. interesting fact that her hair Samson, uh Del Stanton, uh has from what I could tell only had one other movie he's been in and it's one called President Wolfman. <laughs> what? And that's interesting enough. Okay, okay, okay. President Wolfman. Okay, are we going? Is it a B horror movie or is this? Yeah, I, I, that's I'm what, assuming that is at least. That, that's what it said it was. Um, what I, what I think is interesting it. is that there's actually quite a few fairly famous voice actors on here, and some that aren't really haven't really done much. Like the next one, Sarabella, which is Christina V. Mm. Uh, she's the voiceover director of this in, of the entire project. Yeah. Um, she has a lot of anime related stuff, including uh, she's Luis in Sk Zero to Skyma. Uh, she in Lyrico and L Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha. She mm. is Nanoha, and uh, she's Noel from Blaze Blue. Okay, yeah, there you go. Um, That's a game I know. And uh, she voices quite a few characters from Heroes of New Earth. It's kind of a it's kind of a game that's like League of Legends, and I don't care what anyone says. I like League of Legends, and a few of these people do voice League of Legends characters, so I'm going to mention them. Yeah. And uh, Sarah, <laughs> the character who voices Sarah Bella voices Riven from League of Legends. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, Peacock is uh, Sarah Williams. 
And, uh, on, and apparently aside from a character in Madoka Magica, one character, she has, like, done little else, not much else. Um, yeah. let's see, going on, Parasol, uh, uh, is Aaron Fitzgerald, a, com a, uh, a Canadian voice actor. <laughs> Seriously? Canadian. Okay. Um, she that. was most notably known for, uh, May Canker and Naz from Ed and Eddie. What? Yeah. Dude, that show was, like, childhood central for me. She was a num- And when I mean a number of characters on Monster High, I mean, like, six and seven of them. She was over 60 characters in, uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the animated series. What? Yeah, apparently she did, like, a ton of extra voices in there. Um, and one- the- one of the ones I like the most is that in Dot Hack GU, she was, uh, Saku Bo. Both characters, Saku and Bo. Okay. And Alcade. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and League of Legends, she's Sona and Janna. And, uh, let's see, next one is Miss Fortune, which is Kimla... Kim I'm sorry if I pronounced this one wrong. Kimlin Tran. And other than a very small character in Kaon, she's done nothing else. The god-awful cat butts. Whatever you say. Painwheel Just is, uh, Danielle McRae. And, uh, she had a really fancy website that didn't really say much about her pa about her past stuff but it said she was recent so I'm just guessing that she hasn't done much um but most noteworthy worthy that in League of Legends she voiced Karma so that's interesting um Val Valentine is voiced by uh, Laura Post and in League of Legends she voices Ari uh, and a number of heroes in New Earth and uh she voices Cindy from Squid Girl, uh, the crazy scientist lady. Oh, Jesus. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Might as well just stop there now. Uh, Double is voiced by Charlotte Ann, which did a lot of smaller movies and plays, but nothing, so, like, anime-worthy. Just creepy glubbly glub 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 noises? No, she, she's actually, it, from what she says, from well, what it says on her website, she does a lot of uh, classic uh, Shakespearean stuff. I was going to say, I wouldn't have never guessed Double, because all yeah. Double does is glove noises and weird... Screams. Reserved screams. Now, and so there like, were a few others besides the main cast of these that uh, I thought wanted some attention. So, Squiggly, uh, voiced by Lauren, uh, Lauren Londa, voices uh, Lychee from Blaze Blue. The Chinese girl. Oh. Uh, or as uh, the cat girl calls her, the big boob, big yes, boob lady. Yes, I know. Oh. Uh, Parasite Leviathan, which is Squiggly's parasite, is voiced by Liam fucking O'Brien. Seriously? And if no, and if no one knows who Liam O'Brien is, he is the voice of Gara from Naruto, War from Darksiders, Illidan, Storm Rage from World of Warcraft, Endrance from Dot Hag GU. Asura from Asura's Wrath, Master Big Star from Disgaea 3, Gwimrar Wright Weiss from Nier, Akihiko from Persona 3, and Miguel from Tekken. Now, mind you, those were the ones I recognized. He has a ton of other things that he's been in. These, those were just the most noteworthy ones. So it's weird how they have like. Quite, uh, they have a they the, the amount of uh, voices that haven't done a lot of things outnumber the amount of people who have done a lot more things. But I think that's actually a really good thing. Um, yeah. The the more uh, apparently Christina V has actually uh, done been the voice director for a, a few other projects as well. Have they revealed on who Big Band's voice actor is? Uh, I think they did, but I didn't look. But um, Cause I, I, I looked in, I looked into it and there wasn't like much into it, so I just didn't remember the name. Yeah, I mean, I've been looking for big. Uh, I've been looking forward to Big Band for like quite some time here. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I need to look up his design again. He's the guy in the cloak with the giant saxophone coming out of a bag. I I don't. How can you not recognize that? His god dang name was in- I'm sorry, I don't remember the character. I don't remember the side characters that much. Side characters, just, just get out of here, man. Alright. Well, we are coming up on the end of the video. This is Slasher. And this is Sonin. Alright, thanks for watching.